I do not mind spending too much money on a tour if I know that my dollars are going towards preservation and preserving Bannerman's Castle is a worthwhile cause. However, the story could really use some work. I have gone on so many Gilded Age mansion tours and they all involve the tragic love story of a man who falls in love with a woman and he builds her a castle and then she dies tragically in a combine accident. Oh my. And then she haunts it and that's what we come for. Not here. Oh no. Mr. Bannerman made his fortune in munitions. Bannerman Castle is his shed. He used it for storage of his gunpowder and cannons and bullets and all kinds of other things that do not involve true love. I raised my hand and I said, excuse me, surely there was a woman involved in all this? No. No, they came out here for fun and launched cannons. Excuse me. Surely there is a ghost involved in all this. There is a woman in white that hollers out to her beloved. Also, no. It is a man cave. And to make matters worse, he built it with the cheapest brick he could find. And he built it narrow at the bottom and wide at the top, making sure that preservation would be an absolute hell for all of history. Proof that you can have all the money in the world and still be as dumb as a box of ye old bricks. detour here. On the ship, the captain, who is a spicy New Yorker, says that across from us on the water is Newburgh, New York. And behind that is New Windsor. And that is relevant because Newburgh, New York is where Washington rested up. As the American Revolution was going on, things are not going so great. In New Windsor was where his troops were encamped. And the last encampment is still there. It's really nothing more than a field right now. But that was where Washington had one of his famous speeches. And he goes to New Windsor because the troops hadn't been paid in a while. They are hungry, they are beat up. And he makes his famous speech where he puts on his glasses at the time, a sign of great weakness. And he says, please forgive me. I have grown old and gray and nearly blind in this war. And they all rally and deliver a proper ass kicking to the British. Yes, they do. Well, today here in New Windsor is where the National Purple Heart Hall of Honor is. And I'm going to see if I can find my grandfather. There might actually be two of them in there. I remember as a kid stealing quarters out of his desk so I could buy ice cream at the pool and finding his purple heart and not really knowing what it meant. But I'm gonna go see if I can find him. It should be filed under complete badass. And if it's not, I'm gonna ask to speak to a manager. Is this him? No, he was much more handsome. <laughs> He's not in here. None of them are in here. This is bullshit. <laughs> For people like me, you can register your loved one, which we'll be doing. And I'm gonna ask for my money back. I didn't pay anything, it's free to come in here. But still, 